Looking for a Sony TV on a budget? Let's find out if the Sony W800 is what you need. Hi guys, it's Louis from Smart Home Sounds, a home audio visual retailer based in the UK. And if you're new around here, welcome. We've got all kinds of content for you to check out if you're interested in the latest and greatest products from TVs to speakers. So check all of that out and make sure you subscribe to keep up to date. Right, today I've got an interesting video for you. I'm going to be looking at the Sony 32 inch W800 Smart TV, which is part of their 2021 TV lineup. Today, I'm going to be giving you all of the info you need to decide if this TV is right for you and try and keep it nice and simple without too much TV jargon. I'll pop a link to the TV in the description box below as well for you to check out. Now, a lot of our reviews focus on models higher up in the range, such as the A90J flagship OLED, and more recently, the X90J entry-level full array LED. However, we recognize that a lot of you will be looking for a smaller, more affordable TV, so we thought we should take a look at the W800 to help you decide if this is the right TV for you. If you're familiar with the 2020 model lineup, the W800 is the replacement for not one, but five different TV models the WG6, the WF6, WD75, WE6, and RE4. As you can see here, the W800 sits at the bottom of the Sony 2021 range and is their entry-level TV. It's only available in this 32-inch screen size and has an RRP of 449, so much more affordable than the one, two, or even three grand OLED models. It's also a fairly big jump up to the next TV in the lineup, the X80J, which has an RRP of 699 for the 43-inch model. So if you've got a budget of under £500 and are a fan of Sony TVs, this is the option you'll be considering. If we take a look at the design for a more affordable TV, it still has a nice premium finish to it. It's got a fairly narrow back bezel and a nice slim stand. The unit itself is nice and light. It was quick and easy to set up and screw these legs on and they can be placed in this position only, though you can warm out this TV if you like. The remote is the same as other models in the 2021 range. It's not the backlit or premium remote, but it's good quality and has handy buttons to navigate to various apps. So the W800 is an HD LCD TV and it's an edge lit LED TV, which means that the TV is backlit with small LEDs around the edge of the screen. Generally speaking, edge lit TVs can be thinner than other types of LED panels, but can struggle with pure blacks and contrast. They work by spreading the light across the back of the TV panel, which can sometimes lead to inconsistencies in how that light is spread across the whole screen. I'll come back to how we found this during testing in a bit. One key thing to note about this TV is that it's an Android TV rather than a Google TV. So apart from this model, all of Sony's new for 2021 TVs benefit from the new Google TV interface. Like last year's models, the W800 uses last year's Android interface. I know there have been discussions around it not being the most intuitive UI and we experienced that with last year's models we tested however it has very recently gone through a new update and it has actually improved quite a lot so I don't have any major complaints there. One thing I will point out is that while the 2021 TVs using Google TV won't be able to access catch-up services until later in the year the W800 does not have the same issue. Compared to other models in this price range the interface is actually really good and easy to use with lots of apps you can download. I would say this is the most complete interface we have seen on a TV at this size. So if we take a closer look at this TV, it is powered by the Bravia engine processor, which offers full digital processing for higher definition in pictures with reduced noise. It's also designed to boost the colors and contrast of your pictures for a more vivid and true to life image. Now it's tricky here as I've been spoiled with the TVs at the other end of the scale. The TVs higher up in the Sony range benefit from Sony's new for 2021 Bravia XR processor, which is one of the biggest changes for Sony in 10 years. Of course, when you combine this new processor with an OLED or full array LED TV, you're going to experience far superior picture quality. Therefore, this W800 is never going to compete, but that's the thing, it's not trying to. So as tricky as it is, you or I have to discount what we've seen and judge this TV as it is. In our testing, I've actually been fairly impressed with the picture quality. Sure, it's only a standard HD LCD TV. The contrasts aren't incredible and the blacks aren't very deep. However, for this size TV and for the purposes I think this will be used for, in my opinion, this does the job very well. 
There are a few adjustments you can make in the settings to tweak the picture to your taste, but out of the box for 449, I'm actually really impressed with this TV. It lacks a level of depth and detail, which would help the picture to pop off the screen more, but the overall performance is enjoyable for movies, TV, and other visual media. And I feel like they've really made the most of this panel. When it comes to sound, this TV isn't blowing anyone's socks off. However, for a smaller room, the sound is actually quite good. Again, there are a few settings you can adjust, including EQ settings, which is a nice feature. For day-to-day -day use, there are a few other things we need to point out. So it's got Chromecast built in, as I mentioned earlier, so it's great for those of you who use that. It's also got voice search via the TV remote, which I think would be very useful if you're watching TV in bed and can't be bothered to type and search for a program. For those of you who are gamers, I'm not sure this would be the best TV for you. There's no support for HDMI 2.1. However, it does offer high dynamic range, which is better for fast paced movies and games, but overall it wouldn't be my top pick for gaming. I think overall this TV certainly has a place in Sony's 2021 lineup. For me, this is the perfect TV for a bedroom, study, smaller living room, or even a kitchen. Of course, you can move higher up the range to access more features, better picture and sound quality, but if you're looking for something in this price range with a fully functioning smart TV interface, I don't think you'd be disappointed with the W800. So I hope that video helped if you're considering the Sony W800. I've tried to keep this one nice and brief and not get Get too bogged down by the specs and other details but hopefully i've given you guys the information you need to decide if this is the right tv for you or not if it did help it would be great if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe it really helps us out comment any thoughts or questions down below or if you want more help please do get in touch our team would be more than happy to help and have a chat i've linked the tv in the description box below for you to check out too thank you guys very much for watching and we'll see you soon